Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So Joseph Parker is interested in facing Tony Bellew after the Fury fight. But let's talk about the Fury fight just real quick, real briefly, okay? So Parker has had this mandatory for some time and Huey Fury, you know, they're fighting on September 23rd at the Manchester Arena in the UK, which is a good move. Uh, it's going to line both of these guys' pockets. And that's going to expose Joseph Parker to the UK market. Smart. Why not go to the UK to fight where boxing is clearly flourishing as opposed to fighting in New Zealand? And that's not a knock to New Zealand. And as opposed to fighting in the US or the States. Because boxing is not popping over here like that. Now, he's putting himself in a position to make a lot of money uh, and to get a win on his record. Another a solid win in Huey Fury, I guess. You know, I don't really think much of Huey Fury. I think he's going to get outboxed rather easily in this fight. Uh, I feel like Joseph Park is going to box circles around him. And, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Huey Fury was supposed to go to New Zealand. But, you know, he pulled out with a uh, quote-unquote injury. And you know how these guys are with injuries. If you ask me, I think Huey Fury is still juicing. Him and his brother, I mean, not his brother, my bad, his cousin or whatever he is, Tyson Fury, I could care less what their relationship status is, but they both juicing, I know that. Now, Joseph Parker, as I mentioned, is probably going to box circles around this pimple-faced retard, Huey Fury, and, you know, Huey Fury, this dude does nothing but run his mouth, just like Tyson, but his resume's trash. He's done nothing in the sport of boxing. Never won a, never won a championship. Never will win a championship. Uh, you know, his, he, he's got more size on, on Parker, but he's just not ready for this type of fight. Uh, but moving on, after Joseph Parker beats Huey Fury, and I believe he will, he's got his eyes set on Tony Bellew. And what better way to set up this fight than to fight your next fight in the UK. Expose yourself to their market. Uh, and just continue to build your brand over there. Because clearly, Tony Bellew is going to bring about the dollars. You know what I'm saying? I see what Joseph Parker's doing. He's trying to make sure he cashes out appropriately. Before he faces either Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder. So he's trying to get his money. I understand that. Do what you do. But going up against Tony Bellew, I think that's a good move. Now, Tony Bellew will argue that Joseph Parker hasn't beaten anybody. Uh, that's That was his argument. Uh, and, you know, if I look up and down his resume, I mean, it's not the best. His resume is not the best, okay? Um. He did beat an undefeated Andy, Andy Ruiz to win that belt. But, I mean, Andy Ruiz was a fat boy. And Takam was super old. He kind of gave him trouble. But, really, the heavyweight division is not that that deep, if you really think about it. It's not that deep. And there's only a few top-tier fighters in the heavyweight division. And a lot of, I don't want to call them gatekeepers, but a lot of B-level fighters that you could use to pad your record, uh, accumulate wins over, right? But then there's those B plus fighters who don't who can't beat the A plus who can't beat the A level fighters, but they look good in beating those fighters. You know what I'm saying? So Joseph Parker, as I mentioned, looks like he's just trying to cash out. I think he has a good shot at beating a Tony Bellew. Um Tony Bellew's not a true heavyweight. Uh he's just fat and you know, he's undersized at 6'2", when compared to Parker's 6'4". They reach is about the same 76 inches, I believe. Uh, let me double check here. Actually, yeah, Bellew's actually has a 74-inch reach. So, I mean, to be honest about Tony Bellew, his win over David Hay is really a fluke. Uh, he was losing that fight, and... He wasn't even looking that impressive when David Hay blew out his uh, Achilles. You know what I'm saying? David Hay was still fighting back. He couldn't stop him. 
I feel like if David Hay hadn't injured himself in that fight, he would have potentially knocked Tony Bell you out. That's just my opinion. In fact, what's up with that rematch, though? I don't know what Tony Bell has been doing on the low. I mean, after he beat him, he hasn't done anything. I feel like that fight was, man, when was that fight with Tony Bell? Yeah, that fight was like, what was that, March? Early March, I think. So why haven't you been in the ring since then? And Why don't you have a, a an opponent to fight? And 2017 is almost over, bro. It's 831 right now. It's almost September. You still don't got an opponent. And you still looking fat. But anyway, Joseph Parker, I mean, that'd be a good move. That's a good move for him, taking care of his mandatory in Huey Fury and getting paid in the UK and then taking another fight in the UK to get paid even more. And then, I mean, I'm assuming he's looking to unify with either Wilder or um, Anthony Joshua. But what's probably going to end up happening is Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, and that's if Deontay Wilder gets past Luis Ortiz, you know, um, he's going to end up having to face the winner of Wilder and Joshua. And I don't think he beat, to be honest with you, I don't think he beats either one of those guys. You know, I think that's why he's taking these fights. I mean, obviously he has to fight Fury because that's his mandatory. But when you start talking about fighting dudes who are really cruiserweights moving up, Dudes who already had L's at lower weight classes. I mean, you're not serious. You're just looking to pad your pockets. That's clear to me. So, I don't know. He can do whatever he wants to, really, until until he's really put in that position to, to face one of these champions or unify. I mean, you know, go ahead and get your money, dude. But people still consider you the weakest champion at heavyweight. And I would have to agree with that. Um, yeah, I don't see him beating any of the other champions at, at heavyweight. But... I've mentioned this time and time again. Let me know what you guys think about a potential fight between Tony Bellew and uh, Joseph Parker. I think Joseph Parker outboxes Tony Bellew and maybe even stops him because he's going to gas. But, you know, Tony Bellew's not a bad fighter. It's just he's not a heavyweight. He's not a true heavyweight. Um, that win over David Hay was a fluke. So it is what it is. But get that UK money, man. Deontay Water needs to go over to the UK and get that money over there too, but he, I don't know, he just wants to fight in Alabama for the rest of his life, that's dumb to me, you know what I'm saying, and obviously Anthony Josh was the cash cow at heavyweight, so everybody's got a target on his back, because they're trying to get paid and knocked out, so it is what it is, and I want, I even wonder if Deontay Wilder would, I bet you he would try to avoid going over to the UK to fight Anthony Joshua too, man, it's a lame dude, you only got one belt, dog. You got one belt. You got the green belt. And you've been defending against nothing but bums. You can say Joseph Parker got a better record than you, dog. So I ain't trying to hear none of this Deontay Wilder love, man, because he, he's done nothing to warrant that. I mean, I'm, is he scheduled to fight Luis Ortiz? Is that fight signed, sealed, and delivered? I, I checked Deontay Wilder's Twitter. Nothing. Check King Kong's Twitter. Nothing. So... Y'all let me know. And to get back to the original point of this video, um, Tony Bellew, Joseph Parker is a good fight. Uh, Huey Fury obviously stands in the way of that fight happening, but you know I think Huey Fury is going to get stopped against Parker. I think Parker is going to try to put on a show. Uh, he's going to try to stop this guy and get him out of there early. I foresee that happening. Uh, and that's if the fight goes through. It's still, well, according to, and shout out to Kiwi Box. I did hear his video. It would appear that they got the, the prices set for the pay-per-views overseas. So uh, it looks like this fight is going to finally go through. Um, and that's a good thing because I felt like this fight wasn't going to happen because Huey Fury's a bum. Hitman Boxing. Like the video. Subscribe. Comment. And you already know I'm out. It's your boy Wilder. And it's about to get a little bit Wilder soon i promise you that but anyway man what's up it's your boy deontay the bronze bummer wilder wbc heavyweight champion of the world and i want to give a big shout out to all my fans around the world man i think you guys are fucking awesome you amazing amazing i love you i love you i love you i love you <laughs> ah man people are crazy but anyway, man, I love you guys. And, man, I'm sorry for the long layoff, man. It's been crazy. 
I had a couple of injuries that I had to make sure that healed properly. You know, because you know I hit like a motherfucking Mack truck. You know what I'm saying? And any fighter step in that ring with me, you better have life insurance because you know what type of party about to go down. You know, so, uh, but yeah, I had to get that situated. But your boy coming back soon. I, man, I can't even get it out. Just true.